guys welcome back to our channel in today's video you guys are probably wondering why is this girl wearing the same shirt for the past i don't even know how many videos but i'm pre-filming like crazy so that's why but anyways in today's video i have a little mukbang i have my noodles here i've seen this like thing go around where a lot of youtubers just you know do a mukbang with noodles and they talk about life or whatever so today i'm actually going to try the hot chicken flavor ramen which are these right the right here and i'm actually not going to try them i actually love these they're better than the two times spicy ones hey guys before we get started into today's video if you're not yet a part of our t-squad family don't forget to subscribe in the link down below also if you want to know a tutorial on this face i already have it up on my channel in case you're interested uh, but today is a little bit different today i really want to update those of you guys that keep up with my life my snap fam my instagram fam facebook fam those of you guys that just really want to know the tea, want to know where have I been, what have I been doing, how have I been feeling, I've gotten a lot of like pregnancy update questions. So we're going to talk about life today, okay? And a lot of pregnancy stuff. Okay guys, so first of all, if you're new here and you did not know what's going on, I'm pregnant. I'm very pregnant. Um, and I should not be eating <laughs> something so spicy like this, but YOLO, right? YOLO. I am a little over six months when you guys are watching this, which is crazy. I know time is flying by and I am like, dude, where is time flying? But a lot of you guys were asking me to do like a pregnancy update. There's a lot of things that have been happening to my body. A lot of things that have been changing. Just so much things in general. Um, one of the questions that I did get on Instagram is whether me and Jesus want one kid or or we want more kids and how far along do we want them? So here's the thing with that you guys first of all, I feel like I need to pop this baby out You know and make sure that it's like safe with me and home at home because just anything could happen while at birth so first of all, I want to make sure that I have the baby in my hands and you know that it's healthy or whatever and I feel like having more children is just not for us right now. By the way, Liam is going to hate his mommy after this, but I'll have a talk with him later. We're moving into the house next week and we're actually renting it. We're not owning it or anything like that. Um, so I feel like when I think about a second child, I want to have at least my house. I want to own my house. I mean... I can't say that's exactly what's going to happen because anything could happen, to be honest. But I want to enjoy Liam when he's born. Like, I really want to take the time to enjoy him. Um, and I don't really want another kid so soon. I would love for Liam to have a little brother or a little sister close in age. But it's just not in me. This pregnancy hasn't been at all easy for me. I want to say the first trimester was the hardest for me. Um, I did get antipartum depression. I was going through just a lot of sickness overall. And so for that reason, I kind of don't want to get back to that. Maybe it's not the same, you know, but I kind of don't want to get back to that so soon and so quick. I really just want to take the time to let everything sink in. I want to heal, um, you know, after I give birth and I want to heal emotionally, mentally, physically, because it's definitely taking a toll on not only myself like personally but also like my personal relationship and i'll get into that in a minute because i really want this video to be as real and as raw as i possibly can share with you because i feel like a lot of people that get pregnant don't really share the bad stuff and i feel like it's important not even the bad stuff but like the ugly side of pregnancy yes everything is beautiful but i feel like it's important for us to share just everything you know just in case you are trying to get pregnant or stuff like that you know uh but anyways to that question we do not want another child so soon maybe once liam is like two or three or maybe four or five who knows but not yet i re we really just want to enjoy liam when he gets here i didn't read um questions that you guys sent me over on snapchat so somebody said that they want pregnancy updates your life now as preggers and what are you looking forward to things that have changed now that you're preggers so i had a lot of questions about 
pregnancy update so first of all second trimester has been really really beautiful for me like it's been amazing um something that i will say though is that i do get like i do have lack of energy here and there like it just depends on the day some days i'll wake up and i have so much energy other days i'll wake up and i'm like drained and i don't even know why also changes that have happened to like my body well as far as my body have to definitely be stretch marks i didn't see stretch marks until i think like a week and a half ago um and i actually been seeing them a lot like my butt is com like my butt and my hips on the sides are completely filled with stretch marks some of them are red some of them are white i know the red ones are like worse but you guys I swear to you guys that I do not scratch my butt, I do not scratch my belly, and I still got them. And I am using a $100 oil, so I know that it doesn't have to do with either you scratching them or you using like a certain oil or something like that. I feel like if it's just in your person, then you're just going to get them. I feel like it's just a genetic kind of thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I just... I think if it's in you, if it's in you, then you're going to get them no matter what you use, you know? I feel like when you're pregnant, you transition from looking at your body a certain way. And if you guys did not know, I used to weigh like 108. I was very, very tiny. My waist was extremely tiny. And right now, I've gone up to a size large. So... Seeing my bottoms that just grow and expand and just go all over the place definitely I feel like took a toll on me emotionally. Um, I am going to work out, you know, postpartum. I am going to try to take care of myself and try to get back to where I was at or at least close to where I was at. But I've gained a lot of weight and it, I feel like it can definitely take a toll on a person. Especially if you're a first time mom, if you've never gone through this and you go from like being so tiny and petite to what i am now i don't mind gaining weight um but it's just things that have happened you know it's just shit that's real and it happens and you know the first trimester i want to say my entire lower back hurt it so freaking much um and i guess because my caderas were opening right now what hurts is my butt like my actual butt my entire bottom just hurts so freaking much it's I can't really sit for a long period of time and I can't really sleep at night anymore and I'm barely I'm still in my second trimester I mean I'm I have three months left so it kind of sucks you know but yeah I feel like this woman just go through a lot in general but my back has been hurting um I don't really get nauseous so I think I prefer not being able to sleep and the pain that I get on my back than being nauseous or throwing up or feeling like shit something else and it's probably tmi but sex has been hard for us i do not know what i'm gonna do when i pop this baby out because literally when i have sex now it feels like i'm a virgin again and we don't really have it often because it hurts it burns and i don't even know if that's normal it's just so uncomfortable i feel like a whale like i literally feel so big I don't know i just i feel so big and i feel like that's part of the problem i have a lot of like gas inside of me like i fart a lot and i and it's not like stinky farts or anything like that it's more of like like just like air coming out you know i don't know it's hard to explain farts but they're not stinky so that's been going on um other than that i mean we are moving i'm excited to move I really want to decorate the house this time, like full on decorated. Um, I think I'm going to have my friend help me out with that. What is wrong with this hair, dude? This hair like so short. Did somebody like cut this at night or what? Let me like pull this back. Okay. I really want to take the time to decorate the house and my room and buy furniture and all of that. I feel like every time we move into a new place, I kind of just try to decorate everything at once and nothing comes out the way I want it to so we're actually moving with absolutely no furniture so 
I'm going to start from like scratch from zero and hopefully I get to furnish the way that I want to I really want to make the house very homey like just because first of all I've never owned a house I mean I've never lived in a house not that I'm owning it but I've never lived in an actual house we've always rented apartments and Liam is gonna grow there and I'm happy because Chatita's gonna have her own backyard and her own front yard so that's exciting because I don't know if you guys know or not, but Chatita has a medical condition, so she needs her backyard, you know? I just get so excited that time is almost here, you know, Liam is almost here with us, and I cannot wait. I haven't really bought in anything. We've been spending so much money, um, you know, as far as like the house, moving, all of that, and, and other stuff, personal stuff with like lawyers and stuff like that, but I still have a lot of stuff to buy for Liam. I want to say I have like I, I bought in him clothes and he has like a whole bunch of toys because I don't know why Jesus buys him toys like he's gonna be a newborn like it's not like he's gonna play with toys but Jesus is obsessed with his kid and so am I to be honest he's so playful you guys I I'm getting to like know his personality like we play around my stomach right or whatever and then I'll just go like that and then he'll kick me and like I'll go like that on the other side and then he'll move to the other side and kick me and it's just like a connection you know I don't know it's I am obsessed with my kid I, maybe because it's my first one I don't know but I feel like everyone should experience motherhood I don't know I never thought I was gonna be a mom to be honest I never wanted kids to begin with basically like grew up raising my little brother so it was just like a thing like I just did not want kids you know but now I'm literally obsessed with my own kid and yeah i can't wait to meet him i can't wait to share him with you guys i did to give birth and to meet him although i am terrified of birth i actually just watched ibedexo's birth vlog and i don't know you guys like she did no epidural which is what i want to do i want to do no epidural i don't know if that's gonna happen you know that that's what i want but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to take the pain i don't know you know I just feel like natural birth is better without no epidural because your your body is naturally like pushing the baby out so I feel like it just comes out faster when there's no epidural whereas if you're numb your body doesn't I don't know I, that's just my mentality that's just how I think but I don't know if I can take the pain because I've seen and I've heard that it's like intense pain you know and I did see my, my sister-in-law give birth to her first child. So I feel like that kind of traumatized me. Like, oh my god. Like, I saw everything, you guys. And I was like, shut AF. And like, towards the beginning, I was more afraid to give birth. I feel like right now, I'm wrapping myself to the idea. I'm getting more and more excited. Okay, so I just popped on Instagram and someone is asking, what's a weird craving that you're having? Um weird craving shout out to you uh, melissa though i call me missy call me missy melissa michelle michelle oh my god i don't remember your name girl shout out to michelle for that question um a weird craving that i'm having i i don't think i have any like weird cravings you guys i yeah i don't have any like weird cravings like it's it's rare I go through like rants where i crave like wings or they're well, then I'll crave like cheesecake, something, a weird, okay, as far as weird craving, I guess you can say eggs because before I got pregnant, I did not like eggs, like scrambled eggs or anything like that. And now Liam has to have five eggs every single morning. And you're probably like, girl, that's a lot of eggs. I know that's a lot of eggs. Like who does that? But my child wants it. If I don't have eggs in the morning, I feel nauseous throughout the day. Um, but yeah, eggs, I think would be one because i did not have eggs before getting pregnant like i would not eat eggs the way i do and then another weird thing that happened to me i cannot eat chicken Blech. i cannot eat chicken i've literally cut off chicken like completely except for like boneless wings like i'll eat boneless wings but not a lot uh, but other than that i i can't really eat chicken like it makes me gag it makes me nauseous it makes me want to throw up it just makes me feel so sick i don't know if he just does not like chicken at all I don't know another thing is that if you guys have any advice as far as like breastfeeding and all of that send it my way because I really want to breastfeed oh by the way my boobs are 
way bigger than what they normally were I was like flat 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 and now I actually have boobs which is it's nice you know to have boobs but they hurt so freaking much you guys like they literally hurt they burn that was a little update I this video was not like planned or anything like that so I might have missed a couple of your questions or I might have missed um some things that have been happening as far as my pregnancy fun fact is Liamcito when I stopped drinking coffee but when I was drinking coffee like two weeks ago I would drink like half a cup every single day like I would um I would get a banana nut muffin and I would literally like mojarlo and then I stopped I stopped doing that completely and then Liam wouldn't move like he literally would not move all day until I gave him the muffin with the coffee and I'm just like little boy like I love your personality you know like he's just like a little bad little boy you know because how are you gonna do that to me like I was so worried the other day like I want to say like a couple days ago like I was so worried I'm like dude like he's not moving like and you know it gets to a certain point where you have to measure or you have to count the movements that he does and I'm at that point right now but I was just so worried I wanted to go to the hospital because he was just not moving and I'm like dude like why isn't he moving you know I think we need to go to the hospital and then I was like you know what let me try something and I'm like what am I doing different than any other day and it was the coffee and the muffin so I decided to take the coffee and the muffin and in a matter of seconds he started moving so I was like I was just like you bad like you bad little boy you know but yeah guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to thumbs it up let me know your stories let me know anything that has to do with baby related message me on instagram snapchat i love to hear you guys i love for you guys to send me your questions your advice just talk to me that's why i'm here talk to me but anyways um with that being said if you want to see some makeup tutorials i'm going to go ahead and leave some on the screen here so you guys can check them out uh, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys very soon in my next one. Bye guys.